morning viewers welcome back to my channel i am raju padhyay from cms college patna department of it today i'll be talking uh, some set of functions like sum as square function as well as sum product function of advanced excel so let's see everything in detail through the demonstration so i'll be taking you to my display screen so this is a small worksheet we have this worksheet has detail about the product sold for my company in this you can notice we are having a one column called rate where the product rate is mentioned then we have quantity sold under quantity column then we found total so total of uh, that particular product value now if you want to do find out grand total so in order to find out the grand total that means total of all totals so normally we people are aware of sum function how we can do the sum function simply we write equal to sum and then we open the bracket and we select the range of cells which i want to do sum so i'll be selecting from here to there and then we will process it so we are getting a sum like 6 674650 right the same calculation we can do with the help of the sum product function so one more thing to be noticed out here in order to find out in order to find out the total of a particular product item sold sold so what formula we have mentioned we have mentioned the formula rate multiplied by quantity to find out the product value so ultimately what i wanted i wanted to multiply all rate columns all rate array with the all quantity array so if we multiply the rate array with the quantity array so we will find exact total what we have got right now so the amount which we have got like 6,74,650 so we can get it by using the sum product function so now we will understand what how the sum product function will work so i'll be start writing a function out here so we'll write equal to sum product and within a sum product you can notice we are getting the list of arrays so it is asking for the array 1 so obviously as a array 1 will be having a set of value which is listed under the rate column so i'll select all the values under the rate column then we will write a comma then we can enter the array number 2 here the array number 2 is going to be going to be the quantity sold for different items so i'll select the second array and after that we don't have any more array however you can add other array also but this is going to fulfill my requirement that means we are going to uh, multiply the sum of all rate with sum of all quantity and then we close this parenthesis and we can hit the enter key now you can compare the value which we have calculated using the sum function exactly same value which we have we, have, we are getting it by using the sum product function now let's discuss one another function called sum square that means we'll be having a list of values for the list uh, list of numbers for the list of number for individual number we will find out the square of that and then we will add all square generate square calculated result and we will display it so let's say i want to apply the sum square function on 5 8 and 3 so what basically it is going to do it is going to find out the square of 5 that is called 25 then a square of 8 that is called 64 then a square of 3 that is 9 so 25 is getting added with 64 and that sum is getting added with 9 and then we'll find the output so let's say here i want to get the output so we'll start writing a pro, uh, function here we'll write equal to sum square so sum sq we have, we have to write and then it is asking the list of numbers 
So here I wanted to find out the square of three numbers and then we have to add all calculated result as a result. So we'll select it and we will uh, close the function and we we'll hit the enter key. Now you can find out there is a result 98. So obviously 98 is uh, addition of, 98 is an addition of your 25 plus 64 and plus nine. So in this way, you can copy the formula. Already we know how to copy the formula. Same way we can find out the sum square of this another set of number and this number. So that's all for the today. That is uh, today we have learned about the sum product function and sum square function. And we will learn about some more functions in tomorrow's video. So that's all for the day. Hope you must have understood both the functions. These two functions are the flavor of some functions, which is quite popular and quite essential for any user. Thanks for watching my video. Wait for next video, which I'll be releasing tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks again, everyone.